Uh, a sensational 6 0 win against Falkirk. What's your initial reaction to today's game? Uh, I'm proud. I'm pleased. Um, you know, for the players mainly. We, you know, we all work really hard at the club, and uh, we've had a tough kind of run of results recently. Um, and there's no doubt we needed that. We needed a, a good performance. We needed a few goals, and uh, and the, the lads have delivered it to a man. I thought they were fantastic. Um, and as I say, you know, we all work really hard at the football club, but the, we see the players every day, the work they put in, the effort they put in, um, the commitment to the club, and we know how much they care. So I'm just thoroughly delighted for them. Uh, a couple of enforced changes today with experienced Michael Doyle and Grant Gillespie suspended. How did you feel the likes of Charlie Fox and Jack Thompson performed coming into the side? As I say, to a man, I thought they were first class. Uh, you know, Charlie gets his goal and he defended well. And uh, it's difficult coming into the team after a few weeks out. So you've got to make sure you're ready fitness-wise um, and you're mentally focused. And I thought I thought he was. And Jake coming in at right back. Uh, you know, Jake's had a difficult season with injury. And so I'm, you know, delighted for him to come in and, and play a big part in, a, in such a, a good uh, good win and performance. Yeah, a lot of high pressing from the forwards throughout the game with players getting the rewards, in particular Brown and Longstaff capitalising with goals from it as well. Yeah, so we actually dropped the press a little bit uh, second half because uh, you know we didn't want to be chasing too much on such a heavy pitch. So we actually changed the press a little bit second half and... Um, you know, there, there was lots of good repressing. So, you know, when we lost the ball, they went after it really quickly, and we, and we, we got the ball back quickly on lots of occasions. Um, but, you know, that comes down to effort and application and desire, and the players have got that in abundance. Uh, Liam Brown was awarded Player of the Day by the sponsors, but it really could have been anyone out there in a Queen's jersey today. Yeah, it was a difficult call today. Uh, Liam gets two goals and you know a great performance and. Uh, you know, right to the right to the, the death. There were there was energy on show all over the park. We've got a good squad, and and the whole purpose of building that squad was that so when we did have a couple of injuries or suspensions like today, we've no problem. We, we've got good players coming into those positions, and you know we've got a competitive squad which uh, adds to the the standard of training every day and the, the way the players go about things. Um, but no matter who. Who's selected and who plays and which 11 uh, plays, we are fully confident that we've got a really good team on the pitch. Uh, obviously, a massive win today and a tricky upcoming fixtures away to Airdrie and Montrose. How do we go about approaching those games? Well, obviously, we've, we've won this game you know, with a few goals today, but it was a really hard game. And uh, you know, we had to deal with lots of difficult moments. And you know, I've praised the players at 2 nothing for some cracking blocks and saves and some good defending. And that's, that's what gives you the platform to then go and score the other goals, which makes it look more comfortable. Um, but this game you know, and the next game and, and all the games thereafter are every bit as hard as each other. And uh, we, we worked a lot this week on uh, our focus towards every game from now to the end of the season. Thanks, Laurie.